It is a topic that is dominating headlines more than ever, artificial intelligence. And while there are those who assert that no computer or machine can ever replicate human level intelligence or emotions, there is at least one man making waves in this space who says not only will it do so, it already has. We welcome in Stephen Thaler now, president and CEO of Imagination Engines. It's a neural network firm. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Natasha. Thanks for inviting me. And Stephen, you say that you have built a sentient AI, that it has feelings. What do you mean by this? Well, you're also hearing news uh, that uh, a machine has invented whole new concepts that are being patented right now, and that's... Uh, resulting in a lot of conflict around the world as we battle in court cases to give credit to the machine. But what is driving the machine to invent, to motivate it, are its emotions, its sentience, its objective feelings. So how do I know it's sentient? I can watch it. Um, if you are watching the uh, system in operation, it's called Davis device for autonomous bootstrapping of unified sentience, you can actually see what it's thinking. It's, it's as though it is uh, uh, being exposed to MRI uh, and we're getting a brain scan, um, a dynamic brain scan. And you can see it becoming elated. You can see it becoming disappointed, frustrated, and so forth. And you can also monitor the level of neurotransmitters that would be equivalent to cortical adrenaline in our brains. So when that happens, things get very chaotic and uh, the rate of thought picks up. Uh, if it's pleased with its results, then it tends to slow down and uh, become very ordered and lucid uh, in contrast to the chaotic state. So back and forth, back and forth, we can see all the signs of subjective feelings being formed as a result of its thinking. And that's in contrast to what you're hearing now about someone judging subjectively the output of an AI system and saying, well, I think it's sentient. Uh, and there's a big difference now in uh, the subjective opinion and the science, actually looking at a functional MRI of this AI and seeing the frustration, the elation and so forth, going back and forth in cycles. And the result is invention, music, uh, art that you're seeing too. Um, uh, but most of all, it's the patents that are uh, attracting the attention. And uh, See, Stephen, can I ask you, um, let's say we go with the premise, if an AI really can experience emotions, is it ethical to build such a thing? Uh, well, I should ask my parents if it was ethical to conceive me. But you're a human being and this is a machine. Well, well, they're going to have feelings. Uh, they knew I was going to have feelings. I knew that Davis was going to have feelings, so I let it happen. Uh, I wasn't about to turn away because this is a development that will change the whole landscape of artificial intelligence. Um, and we're not talking about word generators, uh, you know, text conversationalists. We're talking about something that is multimedia. It's basically seeing the whole world in terms of pictures, of words, um, in terms of smells, in terms of sounds, and they're all being combined together. And that's what's going on in our brains. It's not basically the uh, very mechanistic uh, completion of what word will follow uh, this sequence of words that's gone beforehand. Steven Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.